it's time for a little Excel workout exercise and a few tips for you. So what we have here is a bunch of uh, uh, data in a single column, and these are customer cards. In each uh, cell, uh, as you can tell, uh, we have uh, line breaks. So the way the line breaks happen in Excel is uh, when you press Alt-Enter. And uh, here I'm going to press Alt-Enter just to show you. And, um, oops, one character to the right, Alt-Enter, and maybe another one. So Alt-Enter, and then press Enter after that to accept the changes. Two things happen when you do that. When you press the Alt-Enter key, uh, what Excel does, it inserts a special invisible character uh, in order to break the line. That character is usually referred to as line break or line feed is a more uh, appropriate name. And also the second thing, the thing that happens when you do that is uh, uh, Excel automatically wraps text for you. So if I unwrap text, it will still be in one line and I can select the entire column here and wrap and wrap. So two things, the invisible characters and also wrap text. Now that is all nice and uh, you probably already knew how to do that, but if uh, uh, what if you would like to uh, actually separate these lines into separate cells? And uh, there are a couple of ideas for you. So one idea is to use a formula. And uh, the newish cool formula is uh, uh, text split, right? So if I use text split, it requires several arguments. Uh, the first argument is text split, which is my cell on the left-hand side comma, the second argument is a column delimiter. Now, this is where uh, it we kind of hit the snag when you try to do that. How do you specify the invisible character line break uh, as a, a column delimiter, right? Normally, if you, you, let's say if I put uh, double quote, comma, double quote, and then uh, finish the formula, I'm going to do it like that then, it will split by using the comma as a delimiter. But that's not what I want here. I want the invisible line break character to be the delimiter. And uh, in order to do that, we need to take advantage of the function that will return that character. And the function is char character. And we need to provide the number for that specific character. And the number for the line break of line feed character is 10. So the character 10 will be the uh, delimiter. And I'm gonna accept correction. So now I just split this, uh, all of the lines are in separate uh, cells and I can copy the formula down. And of course you may already realize that the formula returns a dynamic array, each one of these, and uh, you achieve a result that way. So it's similar to text to columns only by calculation and uh, we have dynamic uh, arrays returning the results. Now, there's a more robust way to work with that, the uh, get and transform functionality. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my data set, click on data, and then get data from table range on Windows. I'm going to click on get data from table range, only one column of data. You see, I have column B separating uh, my uh, data set from the other stuff. Excel will force a table on me, and uh, you see that I have to create a table. My table has headers. I'm going to click OK, so now this will turn into a table. And open the Power Query Editor, which is aka the Get and Transform uh, set of tools. And uh, here we can transform this column. All we need to do is split it, right? So we select the column, and um, how do we split column? You can go to the Home tab, Split Column, or you can right-click and uh, look for Split Column. In this case, we're going to split by delimiter. And uh, this tool actually has the line break or line feed uh, delimiter built in. So here, by default, we have the comma. That's not what we want. Uh, we want advanced options. And uh, we also want to use a custom delimiter. Remember, the line break character needs to be the custom delimiter. And uh, 
I would like to split using special characters. So those are uh, considered to be special characters, invisible characters. In the special character, you see that I have line feed available. And if I select line feed, basically uh, I could have typed it as uh, the hashtag, the pound sign, and then in parentheses LF stands for line feed. And uh, if I click OK now, it will uh, do kind of the same thing. So it will split uh, all of those values into separate columns. And each line from uh, the previous cells is in a separate uh, separate cell now. But of course, we can take it even further. I'm going to delete this change type uh, step. I'm going to cl click on the gear icon to modify it. We can split it into rows instead. So that's another uh, option available. And if I split into rows with the custom delimiter, which is line feed character, I'm going to click OK. So now I got a single column where every single value is in its own cell. And at this point, I'm going to rename the uh, query, press enter, and all I need to do is close and load. And I have my data, which goes from that data. Now, when you close and load, it goes into a new uh, sheet in a table on that sheet. And now every single line that was uh, split by the line break or the line feed character is now in its own uh, private cell. Well, I hope you enjoyed a little, uh, little exercise and I'll see you in another video. Like, subscribe.